Good morning, everybody. My name is Gabby. We are here with Winston at Best Paul Forward. <clears throat> we have Victoria working with him today for his video. And what we are working with him on today, this is week one for him, day three of his day train program with us. What we're working on is a little bit of recall. So starting out recall, <clears throat> we are working inside in a very low distraction environment. We do have his harness on him and his leash dragging on the ground in case he is to get a little bit distracted. We can make sure that he does come to us. Okay, so starting out, when you start this out, what you're actually gonna do is you're gonna have him on leash and you're just gonna be calling him the length of the leash. Now we started out that way. He was doing really well with it, so we are able to drop that leash now. So in the beginning of recall, what we are doing is we are calling his name when his head is up. Very nice, good boy. Calling his name when his head is up. When he looks at us, we are marking with a yes. Now in the beginning, we are waiting for him to start moving towards us before we actually tell him to come. Go find it. Good boy. Winston. So, in the beginning, when he is learning, again, we are waiting until he is actually making movement towards us before we're telling him to come. As he starts to get better with this and progress with his recall, then what we'll start to do is we'll start to call his name. When he looks at us, we'll tell him to come. But in the beginning, we want to make sure that that behavior is going to happen. Okay? We want to make sure that he's actually going to be moving towards us and coming to us when we call him and tell him to come. We also want to make sure we are not repeating ourselves over and over again. Okay, we don't want to repeat his name. If he gets a little bit distracted and he's not paying attention, what you can do instead of repeating his name is actually make a little bit of noise. You can get a little bit excited. <clears throat> you can decrease the distance towards him. But we want to make sure we're not repeating over and over because then he starts to learn that he can ignore and we do not want that. So he's doing very well with this. Another thing with recall, you want to keep it fun, okay? Good boy. Easy. Very nice. When he gets to us, we're asking him for a sit. <clears throat> we want to make sure that he is not jumping up. If he does go to jump up on us, what you wanna do is take a couple of steps back, okay? Call him again, have him sit, and then reward him for that successful repetition, okay? Very nice. Another thing you can do, you can you saw Victoria right there, she just hid behind that barrier we had up. You can. Play a little bit of hide and seek. You can also play a little bit of monkey in the middle. So calling him back and forth between two handlers. Just keeping it fun, keeping it interesting. Very nice. Let's do one more. So he came right back. He sat, he didn't jump up. And then he gets that reinforcement. Very nice. Awesome. So he is doing a great job Winston. on his third day with us here. Learning a lot already. Again, we're starting in this low distraction and we're gonna gradually start to, over his time, with us work our way up to more challenging and more distracting environments. But he's doing an excellent job. You guys have any questions, let us know and we will see you next time.